Good evening, how are you? It's a great day today. I just finished work. I'm on vacation for three very hot days. And my wife decided to go for a bicycle ride. She said, do you want to go? And I'm like, no, nah, I think I'll hang back and I'll do a whiskey review. My kids are at camp. I love my kids, but they went to camp for a week, so that gives daddy a break. And I thought I'd kick out a few video reviews while they're away. And tonight's review is Black Bottle. Black Bottle is a long-established blended scotch whiskey brand that's been around forever, owned by Burn Stewart. I think I wrote it down. Made some notes tonight. Burn Stewart Distillers. And I reviewed Black Bottle in 2011. I'd heard a lot about it, and I heard a lot about White Horse. Two phenomenal Isla uh, influenced blended scotch whiskeys that came at real economy prices. Like a bottle of uh, White Horse costs, I mean, you can pick it up for $19, sometimes as cheap as $15. And White Horse is the single most best buy blended scotch you can get on the marketplace. And the other one that was similar to it was Black Bottle. So I reviewed it in 2011 and Black Bottle proved to be phenomenal. And it was cheap, cheap, cheap. Now, in 2013, I think it was, I made a note because I don't have a great memory. 2013, Black Bottle was relaunched. They changed not only the packaging to a very dark bottle where you can't even see the level of whiskey in it. This is what it looks like now. And Black Bottle was, they changed the packaging and they changed the whiskey. And the question is, is it still as good as it was? It was a phenomenal blended Scotch whiskey. Tremendous Isla, notes of peat, smoke, uh, seaweed, dulse. It was phenomenal for a cheap price. Smooth, no bite, totally inoffensive. Just like White Horse. And White Horse is another obscure blended Scotch whiskey that I urge you to go out and buy because fortunately the owners of that brand haven't relaunched it with new packaging and changed the, the mash bill. But with uh, Black Bottle, they've changed the mash bo uh, bill and the question is, is it as good as it was before? Twist off cap. No cork for us. Uh, Black Bottle is, as I said, a blended scotch whiskey. So you've got malted barley and you've also got some grain whiskeys. And now, the nose. The nose is spirity. It's, you know you're dealing with young whiskey. You have sea air. There's nothing special going on here. Really, if you search, there might be some roses. You don't nose this whiskey. This is a cheap blend. Uh, you know, the aroma coming off of this is nothing special. On the palette, uh, it is, I just want to give a word on the color. The color is totally insignificant. Somebody emailed me the other day and said, how come you never discuss the color of whiskey? The color of whiskey, you know, is kind of irrelevant to what you're going to taste. Whiskies sometimes can be very fair, very light, and very good, or they can have a dark color, which is supposed to indicate that it's aged longer in the cask and taken on the color of the previous contents of the cask, being namely sherry or port or whatever. It's irrelevant, especially when you discuss a blended Scotch whiskey. On the palate, I'm getting more sherry. It's, um, this is not the Isla whiskey that it once was, an Isla influenced. Um, Black Bottle was famous for Isla and peat and smoke and seaweed and dulse and all those things I talked about before. The flavor profile has changed. The owners have decided to go in a totally different direction. And now I'm tasting a lot of dark plum, dark grapes. cherry, young oak tannins, graphite, the finish,
the finish is you've got some smoke some damp wood but it's grainy it's sandy it's got a mineral minty note to it maybe some herbs it's very very grainy very much like graphite like pencil lead the whiskey tastes young and it's a cheap whiskey experience um, this is not as good as the original from before 2013 so if you can find the old black bottle I urge you to buy it this relaunched brand uh, where they've changed the contents it's not as good I don't recommend it had a piece of paper here Let's see what else I got on here cheap whiskey experience overall dark plums black grapes Pinot Noir grainy graphite pencil lead finishes green minty and summer savory but overall very very grainy humorless would not buy again okay so there you have it black bottle relaunched do not buy cheers